Good afternoon guys and welcome back to another one. We just, if you just watched the last video, I'm not sure exactly what order they're in, but we just got off the water. Time to fire up the new barbecue. We got ourselves some chicken wings, drumsticks, a whole bunch of stuff, a brand new grill, which is the topic of today's video, barbecue. It's Sunday, char griller. Of course it's a char griller. Stand by, I gotta marinate this stuff. And actually what I'm using for the marinade, I got some paprika, regular pepper, black pepper, Frank's Red Hot, why? You put that shit on everything. And Montreal Steak Spice. I don't have any tinfoil containers left, so I'm gonna improvise. Use the lid, what's the difference? Anyway, I gotta marinate all this stuff, then we're gonna go through the barbecue. I'm gonna show you what I got. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's a lot different than the other one, but I love it. Did I say I love it? I love it. All right, let me get this stuff marinated. It's going to sit for a while. I'll be back. All right, we had to take a break for a second and go put the boat. Huh, put the boat on the cover. I had to go put the cover on the boat because I think some rain's coming. I hope not because I got to get this barbecue in. Here's what we're working with. Have a look. All right, bunch of wings and drumsticks sitting there marinating with some and all those seasonings, a little bit of oil. Alright, so as you can see, I got the charcoal going in the chimney there. The easy way to start your charcoal in the chimney, some people put some newspaper in the bottom. I've never had much luck with that. So I go to the dollar store, and for, it's called the dollar store, but I paid $2.50 for this. And what this does, the little fire starter sticks. Just break a piece off, set it on fire, and put it underneath there. Let it do its thing. They also make them in squares. I like the squares better. This one here is in strips. But it seemed to do okay too. Beats me having to fight with this thing, that's for sure. I also got some apple wood chunks. Now these are by Weber. I only bought them because they were cheap and I needed something quickly. Otherwise I would have bought the wood in bulk. It's coming. It's coming. So we got chicken wings, we got drumsticks, we got hot dogs, we got small pork tenderloin. We're gonna load this up and have ourselves a barbecue. I mean, it's Sunday, of course. So when them coals get uh, pretty much red hot and I can see the flame through the top, I'll remove one of the grates there and I'll just pour the coals on one side. That way I can control the heat and maybe send a little smoke down to the chicken wings as well. I'm guessing since I mentioned all this, I better say something here. I am not sponsored by Char Griller, by Weber, or by Cowboy Brand Charcoal. Although, I am available, hit me up. All right guys, we got ourselves a nice pile of briquettes there and I wanted to leave them in that pile because I want to concentrate the heat over here. And I'm gonna open the dampers down there. That's gonna bring the airflow in here I got this one I got the damper on this side over here closed the chimney right now is closed I'm gonna open that up and we'll watch the temperature rise gotta tell you the other good thing I like about this is with this handle right here right here I can raise the heat up or take the heat back down. And also guys, when I go to add my wood, <laughs> I can open up this door. There it is right there. Put the wood in there and away I go. When it comes time for clean out, this tray right here on the bottom pulls out, dust all your ashes into that, throw it in the garbage, put it back in. It is simple. Even I can use it. So we're gonna let the temperature come up on that. Let the coal settle down. I'm gonna go inside and get the rest of the food ready. See you all in a minute. 
All right, guys, we got the smoke rolling now. Come and have a look. I got quite a bit of stuff on here. I'm fogging up a little bit because I'm going in and out. It's ice cold in the house and steaming hot out here, but have a look. So the grill is not quite full. We got some uh, pork tenderloin steaks up there. Some hot dogs, chicken wings, more chicken wings, a couple of chicken legs. Some more chicken legs and some more hot dogs. I'm trying to keep everything off the direct heat. And that's why you see it kind of going around, but fill it up pretty good. But I still got some room. Yeah, I won't put any more on there. We're gonna run with that. Right now sitting at uh, about 310. I'm not really concerned with the temperature when I'm just playing barbecue in here. Now if I got a piece of meat on there, gonna run for six, eight, ten hours. I'd be concerned, but with this. We're gonna be fine. And I put a little bit of applewood on there to give the chicken a little bit of apple flavor. Delicious. All right guys, I'm interested in knowing how you do it. When you're grilling a whole lot of food, do you spread the coals over the whole bottom of the barbecue? I got something crawling on my screen. They're very nice. Do you spread the coals over the whole bottom of the barbecue and cook everything at the same time? Or do you leave them in a pile and move things in and out based on what it needs. I move things in and out, I leave things in a pile. Of course, that's how I've been doing it forever. Maybe I should spread, you let me know down below. Leave me a comment as to how you do it. Do you leave it in a pile or do you spread it out and do it that way? Okay, so as per usual, the hot dogs were done early. I've got the hot spot right there. I got another piece of apple and another couple pieces of charcoal, but it seems to be coming along. And I move things in and out. So you see the thicker chicken over here, I'll move it in and out. And some of this stuff over here, I just keep flipping where it is. Let me know what you do. Whew, it is hot. Everybody's outside eating. I'm inside eating because you can hang meat in this place. Anyway, here's what I got. I got a drumstick, a couple of chicken wings, macaroni salad, potato salad. And yeah, my plate's dirty because this is my second plate. I thought I'd better show you. I'm not going to eat in front of you. I'm not going to be rude. I did that last time. I ate in front of you and I felt bad for a whole 12 minutes. Awesome, awesome day. We went boating this morning on the new boat. Uh, you, you'll see that video if you haven't already seen it. And a barbecue. It's Sunday. What do we do on Sundays? We barbecue. In fact, we barbecue every day of the week. The new char griller. Oh, got to tell you, char griller. You did it again. I love that char grill. I think I paid 350 bucks for that barbecue. Well worth it. Well worth it. You know, I needed some more space and that's all I wanted. I didn't need a seven, eight, nine hundred dollar barbecue. It's I didn't need it. So why buy it? Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed the char griller review. Chicken wings, drumsticks, salads. If I can cook it, it'll be on the barbecue. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video, folks. I hope you all enjoyed that. Hey, if you're new here, I say it every time. Please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and then you'll get notified every time I upload a video. And welcome. You've been here a while. Thank you all very much for sticking around. I do appreciate it. Anyway, that's all I got. I'll see you all in the next one. Get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Later. Delicious. Hope you enjoyed the char griller. Um, hope you enjoyed the char griller.